From coast to coast and around the globe, this is NWA Power. And speaking of power, we got two incredibly powerful individuals in the ring starting things off. It's Joe Galli and Tim Storm on the call for you folks. And it's Jax Dane and Carnage. I'm looking forward to this matchup. These are, these are two big competitors, both powerful, both athletic. This is, this is going to be this is something we haven't seen exactly like this before. This is going to be good. Both these competitors had incredible showings at the Crockett Cup with their respective tag teams. Not unusual to, to see that uh, the Jack Stane hadn't taken off that, that vest. And I think he always does it to send a message that this is going to be light work. I don't need to worry about ruining my vest. I don't need to worry about breaking a sweat. But uh, you're going up against Carnage. Yeah, yeah, you're good. One half of Blunt Force Trauma, I mean. Yeah, this is, this is a light work. Uh, neither one of Blunt Force Trauma. Both those guys are big and strong, and they, they're going to bring it too. Jack's a little disrespectful. Oh, that's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, Carnage not, is not going to back down at oh, no, all. No, no, no. I think that's. I think this is this is as close we've seen as far, matching up size-wise and a, you know, power-wise. Both these guys are powerhouses. And Jack's they showing that power, there incredible suplex. And now the vest is coming off. Jack Stane knows. He's got some work ahead of him. As there you see Aaron Stevens on the outside, on the far side of the ring, and then Chris Silvio Esquire. Of course, um, the, the Savages. Another big shoulder tackle. The look on, and now Jack the look on Jack all Stane's, the way to the outside. The look on Jack Stane's face there when that, uh, that drop kick hit. I think he was a little surprised because he brushed those first two off pretty easily. As Carnage not wasting any time out onto the floor and they are fighting right in front of us here on the floor of the NWA arena. Just throwing bombs. Oh, no, 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 blocking it, blocking it. Being thrown into the post. As Jack Stane goes face first off of the apron. Rolls him back in the ring. Follows it up. Let's see what he can deliver here. Going in. Full head of steam. Splash in the corner, but caught. Caught by the Dane event. Belly to belly suplex. Man, that is pure power. These are big time heavyweights. And I'm, I'm, I'm look. Jack Stane looking to pop the trunk. He's got the. Nope. Oh, caught. Oh. What a slam. What a slam. Carnage living up to his name. Trying to roll him into a pin because that there was a Sylvia, huge very move. Very worried. Shoulders down. Oh, that was close. Out. Wow. That was that close. Was very close. You hear, yeah, Aaron there. Stevens, stay on him soon. And that's the right thing. Ja I mean, Jack Stane, maybe. I mean, he's in a little trouble right here after that power slam. Carnage. Looking for that leg lariat. Got picked up up under the shoulders. Big time Samoan drop. But Jack Stane says this is it. Aaron Stevens on the outside with the distraction. Well, that's not good. Oh, no, no, no. But that's not what that's, you want to see. That's like almost literally poking a bear. Yeah, that's not what you want to see coming after you. Um. And Carnage with the baseball slide to the back. And these guys have fought out here already, and it's it's yeah. I mean, a big kick to the gut right in front of us, right here and now. Jax loads him up. Sent him in. His to turn, the ring. yeah. His turn throwing him back in. And again, Aaron Stevens. Aaron Stevens on the outside. He's got the loaded club. He the hit him with club it. Connects. He got him. Oh my he got God. him with it. Jack Dane. He's seeing stars. He's out. Now he may be actually he may actually be knocked out here. You see Silvio coming over and checking. The manager having got a little, little stare down here. Kevin yeah, Keenan, we've seen this. referee, yeah. Yeah, that, administering the count. Jack Stane, he's trying to recover after being punched in the face by that loaded I think, glove. I think Jack Stane is shook on this one. I don't. Uh, Silvio's trying to do everything he to be, can to get him back in this match. I don't think I've, I've never seen Jack Stane like look this weak, where he's been in a position where where he's where he's been not gotten not back to the ring. The winner of this match via countout, BFT Carnage.
big time victory for Carnage, but staring daggers at Tim Storm after Jack Stane was unable to beat the count. Obviously a lot of animosity in the history between Tim Storm and Jack Stane there, but congratulations Carnage on your big time victory. Welcome to NWA Power, wrestling as it's meant to be. You right, Tim? Welcome back to the program. I want to go over what some of the big time matches we have in store for you on this episode of NWA Power. But obviously, there was something going on between you and Jack Stane there. I mean, he did not go back to the ring. He was locking, he was staring daggers into your soul. Hey, listen, we've got a history, but that's exactly where it's at. It's in history. I mean, this is what I do now. I mean, he can stare daggers wherever he wants to stare daggers. We're doing commentary, that's my job. Okay, well, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going forward here with some big time matchups. Knox and Murdoch, your Crockett Cup winners, are going to be in action. And we also have Kerry Morton defending the NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship on this episode as well. Let's get right to more action here in the NWA arena. The following tag team match is one ball with a 10 minute time limit. Coming to the ring, they are the winners of the 2023 Crockett Cup Tag Team Tournament. This is the Wrecking Crew combination of the Outlaw Mike Knox, Captain Badass Trevor Murdoch. This is Knox and Murdoch. An incredible showing at the Crockett Cup in Winston-Salem, and now this team has made their way to Highland Park, Illinois. And their opponents already in the ring, the BMF, Alpha Kings, Russ Jones, and Shane. Yeah, Rush Jones and Shafe are incredibly tough and so impressive. But Tim, tell me a little <laughs> yeah, bit, what, what are you feeling about this Crockett Cup team? Oh no, man, you look across the ring and, and, and you see Mike Knox and Trevor Murdoch and what you're seeing is old school, old fashioned, just knock, knock the snot out of you physical wrestlers. They're not backing down from anybody. Rush Jones starting things off in this matchup here sizable team here, a very capable tag team champions in other promotions, but they have made their way to the NWA. This is where the best tag teams come to wrestle, and they're going up against arguably one of the best tag teams that, uh, yeah, that we I, have walking well, the planet right well, now. They win the Crockett Cup. I mean, yeah. I, that, what else does that say? I sat there at the Crockett Cup, and I had a, fur, I had a what, front row seat to every one of those matches, just like you did, Joe, and every single match, every single tag team that came out just surprised and impressed me and I mean it is it is a hot division to be in and you got to be think that Knox and Murdoch are gunning for a championship title match for NWA 75 tickets and information at nwatix.com August 26th 27th in St. Louis followed by our NWA power tapings in Skyway Studios in Nashville Cal uh, Nash Nashville Tennessee I should say Again, tickets and info at nwatix.com as Knox has completely shut down Russ Jones after a short flurry of offense. Yeah, Russ Jones came out with some, with some st stiff shots to the face. Mike Knox, that ring veteran. Oh, Ooh, my gosh. What a pump kick. And Trevor Murdoch going in, but oh, he eats a shot there from Shave. Oh, he's caught in a bad, bad spot here with his partner outside. Schaff, I should say, coming off the ropes. Big clothesline. My God, he took the champ. He took Trevor Murdoch down. Yeah, Trevor's not the legal man. So, I mean, it's he's when he gets out of the ring like that, I mean, the, the ref's just saying, I need the legal man in here. Yeah, Rush Jones and Schaff here, incredible tag team. Well, I mean, you think about it. I mean, I just told you what I thought about Murdoch and Knox, how old school physical they were. And oh, there you go. Big boot to the face of Rush Jones. 
You know, you always want to have a good showing in your debut match at the NWA, but it's got to be tough when you're going up against the winners of the Crockett Cup. Yeah, I don't think this is fair. If you're trying to uh, win a contract, trying to get in and, and make a name for yourself, I'm not sure these are the first two guys you want to see your name on the board uh, across from when you walk in. Knox now. Going back at it with Jones. Isolating the arm. Clubbing blow to the back. Tag is made. In comes Trevor Murdoch, former world's heavyweight champion. He hooked him. Oh, boy, did he ever? What a suplex on the heavyweight Trevor Murdoch. Tag is made. Double teaming in the corner. Quick, rapid wow. punches. Wow, that's incredible offense. Just grinding down Trevor Murdoch. And you know I say this a lot, Joe. What you, a cannonball! When you get a guy that big, that size, and uh, down, you better you better keep him down. You need you don't let need to get Travis let Travis get back up. Impressive strikes once again, Chap. Now here's here's what you what you don't want to do. You you're engaging in a bar brawl with a bar brawler. Yeah. That, that you're playing to, to Trevor Murdoch's strength. Shoulder first into the post and the veteran able to sidestep. Oh, no, 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 not again. Oh, a second time into the steel post. Oh, oh my. What an attack on the back of Schaff. Looking for a tag. And you can see the welts already starting to grow on the back of Shaft. Oh, my God! This is just some dirty pool here, Tim. I mean... Hey, I, I, what did I just say? When you're going to get in a bar brawl, tag. don't pick the bar brawler. Knox setting up Trevor. Oh, it's a ton of weight coming down on the chest. Another oh leg drop. Oh, my gosh. And that's why they were able to win the 2023 Crockett Cup. Mike Knox is having fun now. Punch to the face. Backed into the corner. Tag. Shaft is in trouble. Murdoch sends in Knox. Knox pulling out, drop toe hold. Followed it up with a big elbow. Trevor Murdoch, I believe, saying I could pin him right now if I wanted to. Well, I'm having too much fun. Pop up. Oh, oh my is. God. Picture perfect. And again, oh, maybe now going for the cover. Lateral press broken up there by Russ Jones. And he barely got there on that one. I, that's about as far across the ring as you can get. But Knox is right there. Picks him up. Another big bomb. Knox said, anything uh, you can do, my friend. Shaft's in trouble. Shaft doesn't know what's coming. But we do. Going high and low. Destroyed him. The winners of this match, Knox and Murdoch. Another emphatic statement by the winners of the 2023 Crockett Cup. You know they want a big time match at NWA 75. They want to hold gold here in the NWA as a tag team. The future looks bright for Knox and Murdoch. We'll be right back. Please welcome Mims. Mims, you're about to face Blake True of Savages, and we all just saw what happened out there with Jack Stain and Chris Silvio Esquire. Yeah, I happened to catch that too, and I kind of know what happens with Chris Silvio and the ilk of his kind, the, the kind of evil he brings to the table. And that sounds like a strong word, but here when it comes to Chris Silvio and his Savages, I don't think that's a little too strong here. I think that's kind of the right description here. Now, when it comes to Blake Troop, I've researched him too. I've seen his matches, and he is out there murdering guys in that octagon. And you know what? They call me Big Strong Rims for a reason. It's not these big, strong muscles. No, it's not. It's because I have a big heart, and I have a strong mind. I have strong intestinal fortitude, and I always keep fighting. I always keep coming back. I don't back down to anybody. I don't let fear rule my life. And when it comes to Blake Troop, when it comes to Jax Dane, when it comes to Chris Silvio, those are three men that should be feared in the NWA. But whether I'm out there on my own or Dax out there with me having my back, my big old back, I don't back down. And to Blake Troop, I won't back down.
Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza, live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles, while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets are available now, starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at NWATicks.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. Welcome back to the action here inside the NWA arena. There you see Blake Troop. What he has just removed from his neck was a second place medal at a Brazilian jiu-jitsu competition they competed in just last weekend. And you can see he's got some injured ribs from that competition. He's going toe to toe with Mims and of course the Savages and Magnum Muscle. Long history between those two tag teams, but it is singles competition here, Tim. Well, and I, I, you know, based on what you just pointed out, Joe, it's 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 great to come in with that uh, with with that nice medal. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you come in with your ribs taped, uh, again, the NWA yeah. against some of the greatest competition it, in the world. That is not. Is that a good trade-off? I don't know. It's a big disadvantage, but it's something that Blake Truth has had to deal with his entire career because not only is he a professional wrestler, but also an accomplished mixed martial artist. So if he's not wrestling in a wrestling ring one day, he's wrestling in a cage. And how do you recover from just all of that combat? I don't. I don't know how you do. I know that the, the, the man is an incredible athlete. So is Mims. But uh, you know, with with Truth, you can't make that one mistake. And he's done a he's done a great job of like you can see it even now on the way on the way he keeps the his opponent kind of at arm's length. He does a great job of transitioning from MMA to professional wrestling, and, and they are not exactly the same. There's similarities, but they're not the same. Mims maintaining the waist lock, separated there. And once again, a lot of familiarity between these yeah. two. Big, strong Mims, such an impressive competitor. And I think one of the things that, that we kind of lose sight on, both these guys have seen each other, as you pointed out, in a lot of tag matches. Now, this is a singles competition, you don't have that man to turn to. You know, if you get if you get winded, if you get in trouble, if if, if your ribs start hurting, you don't have a partner. Oh, that's beautiful. You don't have a partner to turn to for help. You gotta yeah. you gotta work that out. Well, he does own. have Silvio out there. Was telling Troop to change levels, but unfortunately, Mims could also hear him calling those orders and was able to counter. And now it's just taken bulletproof Troop for a ride. I'm getting dizzy. Oof. Round and round we go. And you can see it. I mean, I, yeah, he, his yeah. equilibrium is all off. Came down hard after the clothesline. Yeah, he stays. I mean, Mims has to shake it off at this point. Falling into the cover, kick out, immediate kick out. Picking the leg. Oh, there we go. There you go. He's looking yeah, for an e bar. That, yeah. There he's, it is. He's got it hooked. His version of the figure four. It's in deep. It's in deep. All he needed was one moment. He's locked in this hold. Mims, Mims has got to get to the ropes. That's his only choice. And he does. Good move by Mims. Troop holding on, holding on with everything that he's got. You've got till wow. five. Yeah, you've got that till was, five. That was four and nine tenths. Maximize damage. as long as he could. Yep, he's just maximizing the damage. You hear Silvio saying, eat him up. Yep, you, up there oh it is. my gosh. He recognizes that. Silvio recognizes that knee. He knows there's some pressure there. And you see yeah, Troop he, going after it. Tacking the hamstring. Yeah. And Troop's we know with the finisher that, I mean, you know, with his with his submission move, him, his MMA style submission move, he can weaken those ligaments in there. If he, oh, can, yeah. if he can loosen that knee up a little bit, man, that is hard, hard to fight off. And there you see Silvio on the outside. Didn't interject there, but. Man, yeah, that referee right there on top of it, making sure he's even getting. To, he's telling him to separate now. That, yeah. that Mims Gotta is into the ropes. Space. You see, Mims is trying to keep that injured leg on the on the offside, trying to to keep it where yeah. where Troop can't get to it. And now Mims going after those injured ribs, and they had a lot of effect just those two punches, and Troop is doubled over. Well, if you've had anybody who's had rib injuries, it affects the way you breathe. If every breath is painful, every time somebody knocks Ooh. you down in this ring. Big back elbow there. Mims did not even see that coming. 
And Troops calling for the end, but no, oh, again, right ribs, ribs first. Ribs first in the turnbuckle. Belly to belly, set up perhaps. No into a bear hug. He's got him, man. Oh, he is wrenching that in. It's hard to keep him up there with that injured yep. leg. He can't lift. He can't lift Troop. This is just, just almost a battle of attrition. Which one of those injuries He's is going to give first? Trying to relieve some of that pressure by targeting the neck of Mims. This Mims just shoving him right into the corner. Trying to get that, those ribs into those turnbuckles. Now it's just a now can Mims knee hold up. That's that's the. Oh, but now going after the face, going after the eyes of Mims, blinding Mims. And that might be the opening that Troop needs to once again lock in. Pulls him to the middle oh of the ring. Oh my gosh, that devastating leg submission. And he is trying to oh, break Mims that ankle. Incredible agony, center of the ring. Mims has nowhere to go. He's got to try to reverse the pressure perhaps. Oh, but my God, you just hear him screaming in pain. He's got to tap. He's got to tap. He's got, got to tap. You got to think career. about the next day. You got to think about your career. You can see how far the ankle is bending back. Mims has got nowhere to go. He's trying that to drag. May be broke. He's refusing to yield. What a warrior! What it is! Incredible He's got moment. To get to Mims, the ropes. You've got to get there, man. But no. He's oh, he's not fading. Moving. Yeah, he's not moving. I think he might be fading from the pain. He, yeah, he's out. The winner of this match by ref stoppage, the Savage Blake True. Yeah, the ref had no. He had no choice there. We were saying that could be a career-ending move. That ankle may be broken right now. So the ref's going to stop that. That's actually a good call. Yeah, 100%. Big time victory for Blake Troop here. We're going to take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, your United States Tag Team Champions are in action. Please welcome Eric Jackson. And uh, Fodder was supposed to be here, but I'm not sure where he is. Uh, but you guys have a really interesting tag matchup coming up next week. How do you feel about that? Uh, May, I, I did my research on my partner, Rob, and I see that he's a 20-year vet in the game. Not only that, he also trained Joe. And I guess Joe didn't learn the first time, and that's okay because not only we're going to take him and Fodder back to class, we... <laughs> Oh, look who it is, Eric Jackson, Mr. Too Cool for School. Now, I know you don't know much about your partner, Robert Anthony, but you need to know about your opponent, the psycho boy himself, Fodder. And what I do is destroy anybody who's across the ring from me. See you soon. <laughs> For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can have your very own symbol of excellence as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory as well as the updated version featuring the UK plate. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelt.com slash NWA. Introducing first, the team of the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater, and the Muscle of Valhalla, Odinson! Tim, what do you think about this tag team here, the combination with Jordan Clearwater and Odinson? We saw Odinson and Kratos have an incredible turn at the Crockett Cup recently, but now picking up Jordan Clearwater since Kratos is injured and unable to compete. Well, I don't think Odinson's uh, confident in his choice at, that, at this point. I mean. He came out ready to go to go to work, and Jordan Clearwater. I don't know what cutting. You know, stood in front. <laughs> he started posing. He's, ready, for he's ready to be Jordan. That's all he can do. And their opponents, they are the NWA United States Tag Team Champions. 
This is the combination of the group from Bullhead Reds, AJ Casana, the Thurbred, Anthony Andrews. They are the country gentlemen! Once again, titles are not on the line, but there's a lot of pride on the line for the country gentlemen. After falling short at the Crockett Cup, they're looking for redemption in this matchup to prove that they deserve to hold those championships in this non-title matchup. Yeah, prior to the prior to the to the Crockett Cup, there was no doubt who the top tag team in the NWA was uh, that they didn't win the Crockett Cup. Yeah. And then you saw all those other teams with their showings. Now they have more to prove. Yeah, you do. Same could be said for La Rebellion as well. More to prove. After that historic night, and you could be a part of our another historic two-night pay-per-view event, August or NWA 75, August 26th and 27th in St. Louis, followed by NWA Power Tapings 28th and 29th at Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. If tickets and info at NWATIX.com as the brute from Bullhead Ranch, AJ Kazana, looking to start things off. Had a little bit of history with Jordan Clearwater as well. Two men very familiar with each other. Side headlock there by Kazana. Headlock takeover. Got those, got those good, good base with his legs. Hands locked. Clearwater taken down by a big shoulder tackle there by the brute. Quick Kick pin. out. Yeah, quick pin. Kazana controlling the arm, speeding it to his partner. Tag is made, in comes the thoroughbred Anthony Andrews. And again, tag, in comes AJ. So, so they have a target. They know, what, yeah. they, they know what they're gonna go after. Jordan Clearwater, let's see if they can make that work. Going after the ribs, and again, the tag is made. An innovative way to make the tag. Andrews throwing AJ in. And here comes the cousin, smothering Clearwater. This is a tough spot for Jordan Clearwater. Now they've got him on their third of the ring. Still on that arm. Tag is made. Backing Clearwater into the corner. You know, Odinson is, is pay, pacing on the other side. He, he, he wants in there. He wanted to start the match, and Jordan Clearwater absolutely convinced him that Jordan oh, Clearwater should start. Double stomps right to the chest of Clearwater, and the champs are looking fantastic they in this are. match. Odinson desperately wants to get in. Good tag, seamless transitions. They know it. They, they, they picked their, their target. Yep, another tag. Hangs on to that, hangs on to that control until his partner takes it back over. I mean, this is textbook. This is the way, this is the way it should be. Looking for a double team vertical suplex. Wow, look at the strength in the stall, but Otis is there to pump the brakes. He's trying to take care of his partner there. Up onto the shoulders, and no, oh, no! Andrews doesn't Rakes see what's- the eyes. No, he's digging his fingers in. That was way more than a rake as Clearwater has found an opening. Yeah, that was just desperation. Yeah, I was. mean, that's, that's, he needed some kind of yeah, break and he made his own. It's paying off now as the Asgardian coming in. Big shoulder tackle, couldn't take AJ off his feet. AJ's really having a hard time seeing. I mean, he, oh, we saw that. He, he targeted it. Series of right hands there by Kazana. Oh, and what a shot there by Odinson, who knows what it takes to beat the country gentleman. He's done it before, could do it again. Kazana down hard, shoulders, ooh, kick out. No, I don't, I, I just, I, I want to go back just a second. I want to recognize the height that he got on that vertical. That was flat-footed. Mm -hmm. He ends up with that, uh, that, that foot to the side of yeah. his head. Such an impressive athlete is. is Odinson. Certainly has a future champion written all over him, and he's going to be looking for a high-profile match, a spot at NWA 75, August 26th, 27th, 
in St. Louis at the Chase, ladies and gentlemen. Tickets and information, nwatix.com. You can catch the pay-per-view on Fight TV. It's going to be EC3 versus Tyrus for the World Heavyweight Championship. Camille defends her NWA World Women's Championship against Natalia Markova. Kerry Morton defends his Junior Heavyweight Championship against Colby Carino. All that and much more at NWA 75. I mean, I saw something there with Clearwater. It, it, it almost looked like the whole tag concept with Odinson might have clicked just then. That was, he looked at him and went, oh, okay, okay. Well, maybe not. Tag. Oh, well, Odinson now calling the shots, looking for something. Oh, we've seen this from him, this offense with oh. Kratos. And he said, let me yeah. show you. He may be swinging, he oh. may be convincing Clearwater on the, you know, the, the, the value of a tag team with him. And now isolating the arm, the elbow, the tricep. Oh, with the knee, drives the knee into the tricep. Into the cover, kick out. Stretching that, stretching that out. Got both arms trapped, got the knee in the back. Crowd coming alive for the country gentleman. AJ Kazana needs to make a tag. Anthony Andrews is reaching out. Tag. Clearwater back in the match. Here comes Clearwater with that golden boot. Connecting right into, into the neck, the collarbone area of Kazana. Oh, now targeting that arm again. Trying to take all the power out of that right arm. Almost got caught there. And again, I, you know, you may not like that attack, but you've got five seconds. You've got to, as much damage as you can do in those four oh, and the nine elbow, seconds. The elbow pad had to come down. And now Kazano with a huge lariat and a huge opportunity. He can make the tag He's in this non-title tag team matchup. Got to get up there. He's got to make that tag. Tag is made to Odinson. Odinson. In comes Andrews. Andrews blocks the clothesline. Knee to the face of Odinson. Andrews catching and slamming Jordan Clearwater. And he's up showing on. some power. Calling for the ball game. And that might be all she wrote. Knee to the back of the neck and Man, kick that out. Was close. Anthony Andrews. Looking for the right. Oh, my God. Oh, man, European. Air. Incredible Out European. Out of nowhere. My goodness, the elevation of Odinson. You're right, Tim. It's just exceptional. The big boot. The big boot sends AJ Kazano all the way to the outside. He's been isolated. Coming off. The pounce. The pounce. Almost out of the ring. My goodness. Into the cover. Wow! What the winners win. of this match, the team of Jordan Clearwater and Odinson! Can you believe it, Tim? If the titles were on the line, we'd have new champs right now. That is absolutely huge for this new team. They've just, they've just established themselves as a threat where they, they hadn't even tagged before this. What an outing for Clearwater and Odinson. A big time victory over our United States Tag Team Champions. Congratulations guys, heartbreaking moment for Kazana and for Anthony Andrews. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta take a quick break. When we come back, it's our main event, Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. Hey, what's the gig? It's the deal man, Johnny on the spot. Actually, Danny on the spot. Candy sends me all the gossip. I already know most of it. Mim's on the way to the hospital. That's not shocking. I hear some people talk about Silvio's scumbag for his actions tonight. Uh, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. It's not for me to say. Hold on a second. Hold this for me real quick. All right. Um, let's see. We got, uh, yeah, 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 we already know about that. Tyrus is still out with injuries. Apparently, he's going to be at 75 against EC3. Uh, lastly, uh, yeah, can, uh, Vine would get carry in the main tonight. Yeah, we know that the Vine was uh, fined instead of suspended for his intrusion in the fixer's uh, specs. Uh, 
Specs? Oh, yeah, spectaculars. Come on, Candy Shorthand. I can't read that. Hey, Tommy Latmer. Come here. Hey, hey. Hey, yeah. you know, you're getting closer to that lucky seven, Daddy O. What do you think? Right, you know, yeah. 75 around the corner? I'm but you're getting. Love you. Love you. You gotta get that lucky seven and beat Tyrus' ass and become the new world's men's heavyweight champion, whatever you call it. I'm worried about mine all the time, but he'll, he'll get the big one. What a scoop right here on the DLZ. Let's see Mae Valentine get that. Get ready to witness the greatest spectacle in professional wrestling as the National Wrestling Alliance presents NWA 75, our 75th anniversary pay-per-view extravaganza. Live from the legendary Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, Saturday, August 26th, and Sunday, August 27th. History will be made as NWA World Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and NWA World Women's Champion Camille defend their prestigious titles, while EC3, Matt Cardona, Chris Adonis, and countless other stars unleash the fury of intense competition. Tickets go on sale tomorrow starting at just $29.95. Secure your seats today at NWATix.com and take your place in the storied legacy of the NWA. Dak, you must be disturbed with what just happened out there. Uh, we're on camera. Uh, wh who are you texting? Is Mims okay? I'm texting okay? doctors. I'm texting doctors. I'm texting nurses. Hell, I'm even texting hospital security to make sure that Mims gets the best possible care. They have told me that it's a pretty bad hamstring injury, but they've assured me he's going to make a full recovery. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, and we send Mims our best, of course. But let's talk about next week, because you're going to be facing Chris Adonis and Damage in a three-way competition. May, what do the letters NWA stand for? National Wrestling Alliance? False. They stand for opportunity. And with EC3 relinquishing the NWA National Heavyweight Championship, there's an opportunity out there. It's an opportunity for Dak Draper to show that he can hang with a multiple time champion like Chris Adonis and he can hang in the ring with a brute like Damage. And if you think that Dak Draper's not up to the task, well, May, then shame on you. But uh, I think we were going to do that. It's your call, sir. I mean, he Here's is our NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. He has been a dominant champion. And Colby Carino is going to face one of these two guys at NWA 75. Matt Vine kind of able to jump the line there. Yeah, yeah, I don't... I mean, the man's an athlete. There's no doubt about it. But, uh, man, Terry Morton has been on a streak. No doubt about that. Dominant here in the States, dominant in Australia. He's taken that title, defended it so many times, but this could be the last one. Matt Vine looking to... Uh... Well, in fact, physically, I mean, Matt Vine has the capabilities of, of winning a match like this. And there you see the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Bell is wrong. It's main event time here on NWA Power. Who's heading in to St. Louis? Who's heading to 75 with the gold? We'll find out right now. And well, Kerry Morton already a, a dangerous competitor with all the skills and the background, and you know obviously Ricky Morton in his corner, but. You add that, add that level of just mean streak to him, 
then it makes him even more dangerous. Shoulder tackle there by Matt Vine, who I want to add, you know, we've got the 225 weight limit when it comes to the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Weighed today, 224. I believe it. With an awful lot of muscle in that number. Snap arm drag and another one. Oh, and not another Clever one. Clever move there by Kerry Morton and made Boy, oh boy, are we seeing a dark side to the Mortons ever since what we saw at the Crockett Cup. Yeah. I mean, a complete change in attitude, a change in offense. Did you see how quick Kerry Morton took advantage of that mistake? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, there wasn't a, there wasn't, it was legitimately not a full second pass between the time that he missed that arm drag and the time that the foot hit the ribs. Kerry Morton jaw jacking with you for some apparent reason. Oh. But he's got to be focused on Matt Vine. Matt Vine, big boot to the midsection. Kerry Morton holding on to that top rope, trying to stop all of Matt Vine's momentum. Morton sending to the ropes. Oh, towering backdrop. And the champ's in trouble here in this main event match. Matt Vine wants the gold. Sit, sit out. out. Yeah, sit out, hip toss. I was surprised too, Tim. I had to acknowledge that. And Matt Vine is feeling it right now. He needs to. He needs to focus. What What could this mean for the Fixers Limited Liability Co Corporation? Well, they, if, if, if he could win the gold and have the gold and be a part of the Fixers, I think all of a sudden he might be the popular guy that, that they want in uh, to want going to the ring with him because right now they don't seem to appreciate what he brings. Kerry Morton backs Vine into the corner, driving the shoulders into the ribs. Oh, and now targeting the calf. Targeting that leg on Matt Vine. Carey. And again, going after the legs. Just decimating Matt Vine. Oh, oh no, not no, no, on no. the stairs. Oh, oh on the my apron. gosh, yes. Using that apron. Vine. Elbow into the mid, into the inner thigh of Matt Vine. And the champ is on top. Matt Vine trying to find a way to get back into this match, back to the corner, European uppercut by the champion. You know, Colby Carino's gotta be watching this very intently. He's gonna be facing one of these two no, gentlemen sir. at NWA 75. 75. Kerry Last Morton weekend really. in August, ladies and gentlemen, going yeah. back to St. Louis, beautiful St. Louis. Can't wait to see all of our fans there. Tickets and information, nwtix.com. And a big boot to the face, and Matt Vine has found an opening. He's found a window. Big clothesline. Belly to back suplex. And Vine with a huge shot right now, big time opportunity. Carry caught. Aranagi into the cover. Shoulders down. New champ. Oh, oh kick him. out. All right, we got apparently oh, Carry's got a timeout right he's now. He's calling so for a, a timeout. No, no time, no timeouts. Ricky Morton with his legends exemption allowed to be out here at ringside. And now asking for a timeout, grabbing the hair. Matt Vine is. Is done with the shenanigans of Kerry Morton, but no, the next snap. Next step on the top rope. Kerry Morton, he's dropping the knee pad down. Kiss it goodbye, connects. Stumbling around. Looking for the show stealer. Elbow straight to the heart of Kerry Morton. The winner of this match, and still NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, Kerry Morton is headed to NWA 75 to defend the Junior Heavyweight Championship against Colby Carino. And there you see the boss, William Patrick Corgan, saying that's the guy, that's the guy. And Kerry Morton, I will acknowledge him, he is the Junior Heavyweight Champion. And he will face Colby Carino in NWA 75. Again, tickets and information, nwatix.com. Thanks for joining us here on NWA Power. We'll see you next week.